Welcome to Anime Thoughts, where I, your anime thought, will lead you into discussion. Today's topic is a top 10 classics of anime, if that's your kink. Obviously, things like Yu Yu Hakusho, Sailor Moon, Cowboy Bebop, and all the other ones that we already know about will be omitted from this list. I'm here to show you a few you may have overlooked, and I hope this opens up a new world to you. Let's get started. Blue Submarine number 6. I think the anime could have been much better if they would have just filled in some of the missing links that would complete the story. If something like that would frustrate you, then maybe this isn't the anime I would recommend. I do think it's fairly creative and unique even with its flaws. Basically, a mad scientist made new sentient beings that dwell in the water. He created these living beings to destroy humans entirely. Blue Submarine number 6 is a vessel in which the humans are using to defeat these new creatures in the depths of the ocean. Tenchi Muyu The anime is about Tenchi who for the most part was leading a normal life until several women from space decided to interrupt his beliefs of the known universe. Tenchi Muyu is one of those animes I decided to watch just because I really love the way the characters look and all the little mishaps he goes through. A lot of anime in the 90s loved using space and aliens as a center theme for their works and this anime is no exception. The show does have etchy vibes to it and is certainly classified as a harem, but it's the good kind of harem. Martian successor Narasiko, in the first couple of episodes you might be wondering why it seems like an extremely basic anime that pretty much over exaggerates classic tropes is on this list. And you might be right. What I think is going on is the fact that they are purposely doing it for sheer comedy. The anime is about a crew of strange, full of life individuals that excel in their respective rights. Together, they are tasked with defeating an enemy occupation over Mars and protecting the home planet of Earth. If you take the show in lightheartedly, enjoying the overdramatic cliches, then it will be very entertaining. Fushigi Yugi This is an isekai. Before isekais were even cool. We follow Yuki, an extremely bubbly person that loves her modern food. After opening up a book, she is brought into ancient China as a priestess. Can I just say, for whatever reason, I like the funky soundtracks of 90s anime a lot, and the anime definitely has that quirkiness to it. As a priestess, she has to find unique warriors so they can grant wishes that might just bring her back to her time. It's just a fun little watch if you like isekai and older styled anime. The Vision of Escaflone One day, while Hitomi was practicing for her upcoming track meet, a boy gets teleported in front of her as well as a dragon. After Van, whom is the boy, kills the dragon, Hitomi is teleported into the world in which the dragon came from. The anime is centered around Van and Hitomi fighting off an empire with a mecha called Escaflone. Unfortunately, the Empire takes over his homeland. Now their game plan is to try to destroy the Empire using an ancient power. I know it sounds kinda meh, but the story is told pretty well with the characters being fairly genuine. Space Pirate Captain Harlock I might be pushing it by giving you an anime that came out in 1979, but trust me, once your eyes get adjusted to the low pixels and very dated animation, you will fall in love with the anime. The premise around the show is what if space was considered like the ocean where there are pirates lurking on its waters. Just like the name, we follow Captain Harlock, a space pirate that journeys across the vastness of space being as free as possible. Harlock uses his forces to help defend against a group of enemies trying to destroy Earth while the government is useless. All I'm asking is try to watch at least three episodes. Outlaw Star the protagonist of the show is Gene. He's known for doing odd jobs on the planet that he lives on. He is constantly trying to make enough money so he can buy a spaceship so he could live his lifelong dream to be a pilot in space. After a couple of events, he finds himself in possession of one of the best ships ever created, the Outlaw Star. One of his crewmates is Melfina, and the entire show is based around them trying to keep the ship maintained, doing odd jobs in space, as well as finding out Melfina's mysterious past. This is actually one of my favorite animes, being that it has a cowboy bebop feel to it. Trigun Earth has been ravaged of all its resources, making it look like a desolate planet, much like the way we view Mars. Vash is a misunderstood guy with an extremely funny way of approaching 
any situation he finds himself in. Honestly, I love his personality, making every episode very refreshing. He has a bounty on his head, so he is always being hunted down by people daring enough to come for his head. Although the show revolves around his encounters with the bounty hunters, there is an underlying plot that gets very complicated as we are given little bits and pieces of his past throughout each episode. Perfect Blue I typically leave out movies while making these lists just so you guys have a longer time enjoying the anime I present to you, but I feel like not too many people are familiar with Perfect Blue. This might just be a misunderstanding on my part, but nevertheless, here it is. The anime is about Mima, who decided to quit her J-pop idol career to become an actress. Although that seems fine and dandy, it turns out being an actress is too demanding on her, and to make matters worse, her idol group is doing much better without her. Not only that, but she has a stalker, and there is now a website impersonating her. All these things are breaking her soul, causing her to spiral out of control. You guys will like it, I swear. Slam Dunk Hanamichi has an incredible body for basketball and is pretty good at it. Unfortunately, he only wants a girlfriend, but due to his obsession, he has only further distanced himself from anyone remotely looking like a girl. Due to the traumatic experience, he wanted to give up basketball. One day, a girl actually gave him attention, but it was due to her curiosity of basketball. She introduces him to the basketball team and because of her he is finally back into the sport. Honestly it's just a funny sports anime. If you like sports anime then you will love this one. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you have any other classic anime that you felt needs some attention please comment down below. I personally love older styled anime so I will definitely check out the recommendations. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you like pineapple on your pizza. I have a Discord if you lot are interested. We are almost at 10k, which means you get to see my degenerate face very soon. And I will see you weebs when I see ya.